Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I want to do a video today on calibrating the Femi Pam 2 Pocket Gimbal. I did one yesterday, but it was sort of a half calibration. I also did it outside, which both made it really hard to see what was on the camera and also wasn't an ideal place to calibrate it. You really want to be doing it in a kind of configuration like this in which your uh, Femi can be resting on a flat surface. So let me just bring the camera forward a tiny bit and uh, take this from the top. So to get to the calibration menu, you wanna firstly pull down to get into the menu in the first place. Then you wanna get across to gimbal settings. So it's gonna take a few clicks to get there. Okay, gimbal settings. Now you want to um, select that by clicking center on the screen. First thing you're gonna to get to is joystick speed. This is actually pretty useful if you want to adjust the sensitivity of the joystick, that's what that does. Follow speed is useful too you, if you want to determine how reactive the uh, pocket gimbal is going to be. Uh, but we want what, what we want for calibrating is unsurprisingly called calibration. So click on that. Now you're going to see it says keep on a flat surface, picture the gimbal and start. So that's why, uh, you know, to state the obvious, you do want to have it on a flat surface. The whole idea here, you can even see, I believe it's a tiny bit off currently, just a small bit, but it's a lot better than it was before I did this yesterday. So keep everything super flat. And then you're going to get a countdown, three, two, one. And now the uh, calibration process has started. You can see it says here, do not touch gimbal. So just, uh, you know, follow its instructions and uh, don't touch. I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit here so you can see. And this is going to go up to 100%. Uh, and when it does, the gimbal itself is kind of going to kind of just like wiggle a little bit just as it did. And then you're going to get a message saying calibration finished. So that's the most important part of the calibration process done, but there is another calibration. And it's kind of confusing because it says calibration also. So it's kind of like, well, it wasn't that calibration. So this is a calibration for the joystick. Um, and then if you go over, there's one more setting, which is not really relevant to calibrating, but it's called adjust horizon. So this is joystick calibration. It says calibration and it's got the joystick. So again, click on this and it says keep joystick centered. And then it says start. I'm gonna zoom in again a tiny bit so you can see what's written on the menu here. Keep joystick centered, start. And then it says, do not move the joystick, center and calibration. Now it's gonna tell you push up on the joystick to the max. So do that, push up as far as it'll go. Push down to the max, push down as far as it'll go. Push left to the max, push left as far as it'll go. Push right to the max. Then it says calibration finished, click okay. And that is basically the full calibration of both the gimbal itself and the joystick. Hope that was useful. If you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.